Uh, but it is coming out sometime, um, we don't know when, but there is a free prologue here, which I think qualifies for Free Games Month by Goblin Studio and Goblin's Publishing. And we're going to check it out. So let's try it out. And uh, you can pick the game up here, or the, the prologue here up on Steam. <clears throat> it's the big day. Okay. In the name of the Council of, Case of Casts, I hereby name you the 14th Caravan Thetho, Sasako, Vrej, and Bankus. You now carry with you the hopes of the Umka. It's supposed to be Umka. May Umama guide you. Ku Kwamakabuki. <laughs> yes, yes. Well said. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, with that said, uh, you will take this with you, a present from the council. No, not for you. It is the inhabitants of Yaya. Please pass on the kindest wishes of the Umka tribe to the Terracer tribe. If you get that far, that will already be of great help. You are in the, tri the tree city of Lekwazi. This is where your journey begins. Okay, in cities, we can trade resources to get valuable items. Echoes of birdsong on the mossy leaf. Mm -hmm. As you begin your journey, there is not much to do here. Click on the buildings to get additional supplies and then press the button with that door to leave. Okay. Uh, walls of moving shadows protect us from the the, uh, the the pithy for time immemorial. Only caravaneers and the mad would leave the bark of Lequazi. Well, we can go to the... We can go... Uh, we can go... We can leave. We can go to the orchard. Orchards of Lequazi were fruitful enough to allow us to take freely. Oh, you're going to give me... Oh, yeah. I got... My, my body's in the way of this, but there is a... I gained 20 food. 20 something for this. Uh, we'll go to the hotel. Hospitality was the true heart of Laquasi. They gave us 50 more stuff. We'll go to the pharmacy. We healed our characters if we needed it. Go to the merchants. Merchants, uh, I have a chest. I can buy things from you, but I uh, I do have 100 supplies. Now, this, is, this, is, this is costing me money. I don't have any money. Okay. Uh, let's go to the council. Council gave some advice. Uh, had some advice for us, but nothing more. Let's get out of here. Unlike tales of past caravans, there was no guard of honor, no ovation, no sacrifice, or blessing beyond the usual words. The counselor came alone, by obligation. The 14th caravan, with just a teller, a botanist, a protector, and an anaromancer left for the Fithi in total anonymity. We felt as though we were the last. Some would say that we were the first. I think we're the 14th. Now that you've left Loquazi, you started the exploration phase. During the exploration phase, you control the movements of your caravan. When the caravan moves, it reveals tiles that are a distance equal to a small to its reveal distance. Starting distance is two tiles. Okay. Encounter various creatures and places in Uando. Some will be dangerous, others could be beneficial. You can access the quest tab by click checking the icon. Click the icon in the top corner of this of the screen. Keeps information about your current goals and about your rewards, yada yada. The caravan tab can be used to see the status of your party members. Okay. Equip things there. You can also use objects through the objects interface in the upper right corner of the stream. screen. Okay. Dreamcatcher, poet. What's our passive abilities? We got trust. And we have we have herbalist. Feedback, caravan, quests, settings. So my quests. Go to Yaya. Got it. Uh, apparently we have reputation. Got it. Caravan. There's old Vrej there. Our uh, neuromancer. All right. We'll give him equipment at some point. All right, let's, um, there's my position of where we fight, I guess. Let's leave that. Let's go, let's go out here. We need to go, it's like a compass thing, I think. Is that where this is pointing me? Oh, there, there, there's my compass I'm looking for right there. It's gonna point me southeast. So we can go by, like, you can see it takes me, cost me supplies to walk around. Let's go here, because we can go and, and pick up some stuff here at... Spot. We gain three supplies by doing that. Let's start scooting. Let's stay out of the uh, the desert. Oh, that's a good cactus. More cactus. We get. Did we get that? Uh, let's go. We need to go east, but we're gonna stop by this question mark, exclamation point. That's what that is. 
A heavy stone trembled with a pressure of underground water. We can unblock the geyser. We can fill the gourds with fresh water. We don't have a hydromancer. We can install a fishing net before unblocking the geyser. We don't have an aeromancer, so we're going to unblock the geyser. Water shot from the earth and wriggling fish rained down on us. There's a fellow that looks like he wants to fight. He's neutral. Let's go uh, grab these fish. Is he neutral? He's neutral as well. 98 supplies. You can see in the corner there. There is some, a small herd there. We'll stop by the herd. Let's grab that up. I won't bo bother this guy right now. We'll go to Yaya. Oh, there's a well over there. Let's go get a well. I'm not sure if it was worth it. We gained five. I think it may cost us that much just to get there. We got a little turtle guy here. We got. Ooh, what's that? Large. Obundia. It's five to get there, but we're gonna get we're gonna get ten out of it. We can get all these. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, there is a solo animal right there. We gonna go eat him? There's a big well down that way. Let's go eat. Let's go get this guy. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh yeah, we gob gobbled him up. There he is a telescope. Let's stop by the question mark. Crystal statues seem to watch us with, watch with sadness from its distant time, as if feeling pity for our strange and terrible present. We can grab some crystal spheres. Extract reminiscence. Leave. I don't know any of these things to me. We're gonna grab some crystal spheres. We polish some crystal spheres so that we could take them with us. All right. We need to go south. What's that? I wanna go there. I'm not sure it gave us anything. It gave us something. I think we gave us three more of those crystal, crystal spheres. Oh, here's where we're going, I think. The inhabitants were waiting for us, but they did not expect such a gift. Impressed, they leaned toward us, then announced that they would help us. They're frog people. They spoke of a silt pit, a rare form of terrain where tree cities would take root. They could not, we could not have hoped for a better instruction for the next part of our journey. A silt pit, huh? Inhabitants stared at us strangely. It was impossible to say if we truly looked like the caravans of the past. Well, let's go stop by the desert cooler. We gained some supplies there. They, uh, they knew how to find water, even ice. Talk to the council. They suggested that we stay a while and listen. Apothecary. Terracers cultivated a large amount of medicinal plants that were hard to find in the Fithy. And we have the merchant. So I got these crystal spheres. You want these things? I can buy perch fetish, rain fetish. I think these are like uh, equipment we can put on ourselves. Telescope. I can sell this for. I'm gonna sell these. You want these? I will take. I got these are worth sixty. Attracts attracts dreams to perch upon its nose. That sounds like what I want. And then I'm gonna take this herbal cure, and I'm gonna take a couple of these berries. Okay. Good good deal. Good deal, frogman. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. You want me, you want me to go over there? Ooh, big scorpion! Okay. Look for the Imca remains over that way somewhere. Uh, so that's my quest. The caravan, though, I've got this. Can you have this? Yeah. Yeah, perch fetish on his nose. Okay, what does it do? That what 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 changed there? Nothing there changed. I don't know if that does, but I mean, you can have it though, buddy. Okay, there's other things we're gonna. I think we're gonna we're gonna like sell those if we can find a spot to put it. Yeah, I think we go eat that scorpion. Good idea. Stop by the well. Keep on scooting east. From well to well. We got 144 supplies. There's something there. Is that what we're looking for? I think it is. The valley itself seemed to speak to us. Here lay the remains of rampants, big orns, and mantillus. Uh, Imca caravan that vanished and perished in the Fithy. We had found Tallulah, the seventh catapult. 
Let's go listen. Memories locked within the relics told us that the last moments of the 7th, more than 150 years before, told us of the location of a unique discovery. Without further examination, explanation regarding its nature, what kind of discovery could be worth their sacrifice? No matter the risk, we needed to know. Did we? This discovery is up north, so let's go up north and find where the discovery was. We got those. We also have some medium herds over here we're gonna go eat. This is this is ten, right? Yeah, eighty-five. It's not any more there, though. No. Salt over here. Crystal Statue seemed to watch us, so we can let's, look, let's extract some reminiscences. We tapped into the crystal to obtain the uh, the millennial memories they lay within. We got plus one geomancy. This item is a memory. The full game, you'll be able to send. It's to Lequazi in order to unlock new elements for your future runs. Oh, we're the 14th caravan. There's gonna be there's gonna be more caravans because we're gonna die, and then we'll come back with new stuff. I get it. I get it. Okay. Progression. Progression is the word. Anybody over here? Oh, hello. The ruins only got bigger as we approached. It seems if we never reach them. How could the ancestors have built such immense and fragile pl palaces? Oh, let's go in there. What we saw that day, Noemka could possibly imagine. The mural showed a sort of burned down tree forest. Was this the fruit of an overactive imagination or did Uwando once have tree forests? Nah, of course not. There's no tree forests. Do you recall that butterfly attracted by our fire's ardent flame? Oh well, he said. Better to shine for a second than to live in the shadows. Could that butterfly even imagine? Could it even imagine that by burning it would carry away the entire forest? We took to the road once more, our minds filled with dizzying questions. I got some questions. Okay. We already uh, got that one, so it won't do us any good, right? Well is empty. I don't have a quest now. There's no no quests. We gotta go say hello to that scorpion. He's over there just asking to be, uh, scorpioned. Ain't nothing over here. There you go. I'll grab that guy. I think what we're supposed to be doing is probably bound. We're supposed to be going probably back to our home, actually. We have no active quest, but we're probably supposed to go and maybe turn stuff in over there. Uh, I don't know. I don't Mark. Let's go. Let's go search, exploring. Lumbering hulks slowly crossed the plains. One of them seemed to have been colonized by a small camp of collectors. Oh, look! It's uh, it's um, uh, we play that game. What's the signal of the travelers? Our teller called out to the colonists in a language they recognized. They threw us a rope ladder. Uh, hello. Hey, do you want to buy? That's what I paid for this stuff. Is there any reason to have this stuff? A crystal fetish? I'll, I'll take one of those. Giant sloth milk? Sure, sure. Pearly shell? Um, I'm going to give you some water. I want one of them shells, though. Yeah. Yeah, milk science. That's right. <laughs> we need that. Important. Uh, here you go, buddy. Uh, have, have one of those things. Oh, it switches it out. Okay, I don't know what these do, though. A fetish sculpted out of catalyst crystal filled with violent fever dreams. Now, that's just you, though. Can I change? Oh, okay, okay. Everyone can have something different. Okay. You are an Oniromancer. I don't know who wants what. Um, you, Mr. Snake Man, you can have this perch on your nose. There you go, buddy. All right. I'm sure he's happy about that. Uh, Ar Arcamenta. Thanks for following. More, more. We spotted long ears from afar. Let's hunt him. I see him. We managed to hunt some small game. I'll take it. I want to see a fight. 
Ooh, treasure. Found an herbal cure, herbal, herbal cure. We found a rain fetish and some meat. Um, you want a rain fetish? There you go. Oh, yours, buddy. It's a cool little loot you got there. Something over here. What are you? Are you? Uh, you're a. You're, you are in neutral. I'm gonna. I'm still going for you. Let's see how this works. Enter the combat. This will happen when you encounter hostile creatures. Combat phase, you're trying to defeat your opponents uh, while minimizing the damage sustained by your caravan members. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This character's present in battle has initiative value. When all characters have played, a new turn begins. Got it. Characters have a value of life and shield. Shield regenerates at the end of a fight. Life does not. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you good point. If the water... If the water does not respawn like those wells, going back to that tree is going to be trouble troublesome. Okay, so we've got Snake Man. Uh, we can Persuasion. Deal six damage to a target of your choice and implies impaired. Purchase damage dealt. Trek him. We can deal six pure damage. Applies stun if the target was about to apply a buff or debuff. No one's doing any buffs or debuffs. Uh, both the teller and the target of your choice lose their shield. Uh, steals, steals two speed from the target and uh, at the front and applies poison. Five liquid damage. That's acid. Sure, let's throw some acid rain at this guy. Take that, buddy. Okay, now we've got um, Snake Man. You can increase the constitution of an ally. Cancel the next... Oh, it also cancels the next attack received. Heals an ally. So you're my heal bots. Okay. Steals two's thing and deals three physical damage to a target of your choice and applies mental weakness. Uh, well, he's only got four hit points over there. Okay. I think this one, this one only hits the front. I see the squares there. Let's increase this guy's con. There you go. Generates nine shield and, and targets generates not. Caster generates nine shield and the target generates nine. Okay, so you raise shield for a friend. Guard, shield bash, and steals 50% of a chosen target's shield. Uh, sure, raise a shield up. You already have that. Sure, do that. Mass Nightmare. I mean, that sounds like, well, what else are we going to play? I mean, that's, that's, that's it. Deals damage to yourself. Okay, maybe not. Four damage to the target at the front. Damage increased by 50% if the target's resistance is below zero. You have five to the target of your choice. If it kills the target, you steal a memory. Can you hit him? Oh, he resisted that. Is that number not his hit points? I thought that was, was his hit points. Nice weather, you know. Nobody beating up my snake man. That guy's dead, though. Six pure damage. Is that what that... Or he's going to... Oh, he's going to do five damage. He's going to do ten damage. I see. Ooh. Okay, he's got eight damage. I see. I see. And you can actually see what it's going to do, what it's going to do if, I, if I hit him. Let's just punch this guy. If he's gonna, if he's gonna, they're always gonna attack. This guy's gonna get beat down. There we go. It's impair that guy. Heal your friend. Don't spit on him. Raised shield is, is on cooldown. Applies two stacks of protection to an ally of your choice using the attack again. Changes the protected ally. Damage from the next attack received are taken by the allied protector. Yeah, do that. So he takes damage instead of you because you're getting whooped. We're doing it. Mass Nightmare. 
That's probably actually perfect because he got shield still. All out. Let's beat this guy down. Okay. We got an engraved bracelet. And we also got an embroidered cloth. Excellent. Um, we can change the formation. Yeah. We probably should. Because elephant needs to be in front. You're right. Snake man can be in the back. We can say, like, I want him... Like, oh, yeah, like that, I think. And then we've got a couple of are these. Are, was anything cool? No, these are just, just things to sell. Oh, oh, can we can we heal you? Yeah, uh, you, buddy, want some want some meat? Oh no, that fifteen meat went to my supplies. I see, I see. Can you take the herbal cure? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Let's go get this bug. Now, there's a scorpion man. Do we want to go to that scorpion man? I think we do. Uh, heavy stone there. We've got uh, another one of these geysers. We can go. We don't have either of these, so we're going to unblock that geyser. Fish all over the place. And this is what... Yeah, I see it. Thanks for showing me that, I guess. A group of nomads is what that is. Do we want to go to that scorpion? I'm going to die. Let's, let's look around the scorpion first. He does say neutral. He's not a mean scorpion. He's just minding his own business. With that, with that. Just like random spots that are just sort of revealing for us. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, I want some of these reminiscences. Yeah, memories. So then when we when we die and come back, we get those forgotten memories for us. Okay, well let's go uh, let's go say hello to Mrs. Scorpion. Who's that? You got a friend? Hey, buddy. How tough could he possibly be? Oh, he's cool looking. Look at that. Weather is unleashed here. Storm removes two shield from each allied character at the beginning of the, be of the turn. We don't need any of that. Okay, Scorpion Man, what do you got? You got 50 hit points. You got 25 health. You're gonna do a lot of uh, liquid damage, poison shots, venom spits. Okay. That means that you are weak. Reduces liquid damage taken. So you're weak to water damage, but you have good armor. Liquid damage would that be like? Oh, if I had like a hydromancer or something. So Snake Man's up first. We're gonna, we're gonna impair him, I think. Nice of it that I don't have to actually click on the thing. I can just, it knows who to attack. There's only one of them. Uh, three of the physical damage to the target at the front and applies Dizzy. His damage is going to be in damage increased by 25% of the caster's shield. Um, three physical damage to a target at the front. Uh huh. Applies Dizzy. Dizzy puts the speed to one. Oh, okay, so he's going to be okay. Yeah, steal some of his shield. Good idea. Okay. Tank. I think we're going to go and... His resistance is not below zero. Do I know who you're going to be hitting? I don't. You're just... I don't think... Uh... Oh, you're going to be hitting both of them. Okay, I see, I see. All right, shield up your friends. Okay. 
Okay, good shield. You got like mushrooms growing on them. Crystal mushrooms. I need that keeping that, that damage down. It's probably good stuff. Skips the next action, gains unwavering. If he's about to apply a, a buff or a debuff. Is that what is that what he's doing his venom spit? It does put Dizzy on. Is that a is that a debuff? Maybe. Mm. Take more damage. Reflects damage back. You're gonna be you're gonna be hitting him. Let's do the thorns. And applies horn. You're gonna be it's gonna hit him though. No, no, don't do that. Um just just do that one. Generates nine shield. Can I steal more of his shield? Can I do that? Okay, just whack him. Get that shield down. Reduce his damage down. Keep on just smacking him. Uh, he, oh, he's stunned. That's why it's... Okay, okay, okay. Good. Good. Still coming for you, buddy. Increase constitution of an ally of your choice for, by one for the duration of the fight. And applies Vine. Vine cancels the next attack received. I mean... Pass. Take more of his shield. Just keep on taking his shield till we get his shield down, then we'll start smacking him. Got one shield left. That negates his attack. He does have two attacks. So if he's gonna do it again, he's gonna do impair it again, so we might as well stun him. Oh, he's getting shield every turn, isn't he? Try to get him poisoned. Uh, Dizzy put speed to one. I wanted to do... Yeah, let's do that. And I click on... Hang on. I bash him, push the speed to one, applying Dizzy second time replaces the effect to stun. Okay. friend alive. Get that venom going. Yeah, keep that keep that venom going. It's coming for both you guys. I can't see how much shield oh there's five. Let's do... Yeah, dizzy him. Just keep pushing him down the line. He's coming in. He's next after this guy. He's going to smack us pretty hard. If his damage increased by 50%, if the owner resistance is below zero. It's not below. It is, it is zero. So his resistance... Is, yeah, it's zero. Okay. Let's shell up our friend here. It is a sneak man bard, you see. He got oh, he got stunned again, didn't he? Is it just me or is that? 
Oh, maybe the poison's hitting his armor. That's what's going on. Keep that poison going. He's at minus 40, so yeah, we just we're just gonna lock him down. There we go, we got damage. Oh, that wasn't good. That actually changed him from minus 40 to 1. No more shield bashing. That made sense. Can I lose myself there. No more shield bashing. Me. And this turn deals a number of stacks as damage. I guess maybe because the shield's down, it's gonna start working now. I hope. He's coming for this guy now. I had to get 25 shield back. I'm gonna have to stun him because then um, keeps his shield away. Um, let's do. Next attack. Let's weaken him. And then I want you to. Um, he's about to do a buff or a debuff, so stun him again. Keep him stunned. Just keep on stealing that shield from him. Your damage is gonna be is gonna be bad. Is your resistance down? Oh, it is down. So because your resistance, um, where was it? Four damage to the target in the front. It increased by fifty percent if it's below zero, which it is right now. Um, I'm weakened though, but I'll do it. I'll hit him. There's his stun going off. Okay. We can put a vine on our buddy so it'll cancel his next attack. And you. Six damage to the target. He is weakened. His owneric stuff, so let's hit him. Target provokes all units attacking a single. Target provokes all units attacking a single target. Deals three damage. That's the the, the shield bash thing. Get that attack, and the second one's gonna come in, and he's got the shield up, so no problem. He's gonna go hit Snake Man next time. Give him a migraine, that'll show him. Okay, if he's gonna do a dizzy, so you can, uh, you can, yeah, stun him. Killing him, but we can go and he still got that 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 down. So let's keep on doing him with it. Hit him with this. How many hit points you got? Twelve hit points. 
This is your chance, buddy. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Six pure damage. Oh, wait, that, one's, that one's used up. Okay, that one. There you go. Yeah, you should get the kill. He keeps on looking at you. Looking at you funny. Puts a speed to one. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Didn't seem to work last time. It was actually kind of a bad thing last time. Let's just put a shield. Uh, oh, we can't do that either. Put protection on him. Okay, Snail Man. I think I think you get the kill because he's got six left. You can do damage to you. Oh, that's Mass Nightmare. We can do that one. That We'll do it, right? There it is. Oh, yeah, I got him. I got four poison glands out of that. Well, that was worth it. Congratulations, botanist. Okay. You have planted a new tree and made countless discoveries for the future of the Maka and Uanga. Maka. Of course. This was but a dream. A simple taste of that which awaits us. The real world, beyond the trees, has a great many more surprises than you could imagine. Ready yourself. There is much ground yet to travel. Done. End of the 14th caravan. Collected some things. Value of 377. Completed the Vrej Dream Experience. Try again with new characters Hunter, Mantelis, and Hydromancer Flowen. Okay. But but I want to play more. All right. Well, there we go. There's the prologue. This is on Kickstarter at the moment. Um, we don't get anything new here, do we? The tree is the tree we start at. But yeah, so then we got those points. I guess we go and we spend them for our for the fifteenth, for the fifteenth caravan. Completing your first run of Sandwalkers. New run will allow you to play with two new characters in combat. Oh, we can, we can do it. Final game bring more differentiation between runs. But now we can choose who we want. We got a Ging, the Hydromancer. Is he? What is he? Is he a frogman? He's a frogman with a, with a necklace. I love it. Yeah, you're recruited. I don't care what you got. What was the other one? Oh, here it is. The oh, the man. Just look at the characters. This is great. I don't care what you do. I want you. Um. I liked. I liked the. Um, I like the elephant. Actually, I like this guy the best. I think. Bring him in, and we'll bring in. Um, uh, I, the guy with the, with the with the the loot there is great. Bring him in also. I like there's like eight spots there also. Kickstarter estimates summer of 23 for the release. Oh, okay. Thanks for looking that up. I, I wasn't sure. Uh, dad joke. This is a, this is our final dad joke of the night. So, um, let me see if I got a good one for you. I don't, but let me look and see what I can find. Um, so, um, did you hear about Medusa? She, um, she caught some thieves trying to steal from her lair. Well, they were busted. There you go. Okay, we got to go back to Yaya because this is just prologue land, but... There we go. Is there any map that I didn't really look at? I think we, I think we went pretty much everywhere. So I, 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 uh, I think we've, I've spoiled the whole the whole map here, but we have new characters we can see at least. And look at that guy. Hydromancer. We could do the, the new quest that had like Hydromancer things we needed to do. <clears throat> Oof is too good for that. It's too good for that. Oh, that was pretty good. That's the best one I got on my list. Mm -mm. Why, why is it uh, so hard to stop being a pirate? Because once you lose a hand, you're hooked. All right. There is Sandwalkers. I'll stop now. I, I'm sorry. I'll stop. There are Sandwalkers. Uh, the 14th Caravan. Uh, the, uh, the, the prologue is out here, which you can play for free. Which is what uh, I got. Which is what that was comes out. I guess next summer was what they're they're planning. Um, yeah, neat stuff. I'm into it. Expired by Hero Quest, Monty Python. Okay, all right. Anyway, there we go. Let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. Uh, let's do it all again tomorrow night. How about that?